Hello everyone. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I am getting a late start today. I tried to get out there earlier on, but it is cold. We got another front blowing through and the winds are absolutely atrocious. So what are we going to do? Try to take refuge from these winds. So right now I'm trying to find another launch spot uh, and we're gonna see if we can find something that's protected from these guys and hopefully be able to put some fish in the kayak. I am absolutely tired of getting skunked. I feel like a, uh, a fisherman who's throwing chopped liver at these fellas because they are just refusing to bite. Nevertheless, you gotta love whenever you get out there and you're able to fish. Just being on the water is sanctuary from the everyday abyss of monotony hopefully that makes sense if it doesn't don't worry we're about to get on the water i sure am marking all kinds of fish down there i'm hoping that is a good sign of what is to come all right ladies and gentlemen thank you all again so much for coming back to the channel i swear this is deja vu because look at this dude He's, uh, he's here. Hey, man. <laughs> Where'd you come from? And uh, the only difference is we have fish and we have all kinds of stuff down there. It is another slack tide that we're going to have to endure. But for the most part, 10 mile an hour winds, I can certainly deal with that. Okay, time on deck is 12.04 for you uh, little short-haired types that would still military time would still be 1204 <laughs> um we're gonna give it like what every 10 minutes we're gonna swap lures we're playing musical fishing rods today i am not gonna just force myself to continue using one setup we're gonna go through everything i there's a reason why i bring 15 rods with me and i'm gonna go through each and every one of them speaking of rods here let's do this we're gonna put this fellow away let me hurry up and knock this out of the way for y'all. I brought two of my fishing rods. These are old ones. Uh, for those of y'all that have been with the channel for a long time, y'all know that I had purchased two rods that I wanted to use as like a challenge setup. And uh, it was for walking the bank. And if any of y'all saw me with one of these rods and there was a fishing reel on it, you could just challenge me to win the fishing reel that was on these rods. However, I am now partnered up with Old 18, so I have no use for these anymore. Needless to say, the challenge is no longer in effect. So what I'm going to do is do a giveaway for these guys once the channel hits 30,000 subscribers. So what does that mean? If one of you out there that is currently watching, if you want a shot at winning one of these, there's going to be two lucky winners. If you want a shot at winning one of them, uh, do whatever you need to do if you're not subscribed to the channel to create an account or just simply hit that subscribe button. Once we hit 30,000, then we are going to do the drawing. And my channel is all about working at the speed of now. So the minute we hit 30,000, you're going to see that video go up and say, hey, make your comment down below for a chance to win. And then like within five days, whammo, we're going to hit the, uh, the button to select two winners and uh, you'll have a shot. So again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, create an account, do whatever you need to do get subscribed tell your family and fishing friends about the channel so that we can hurry up and get to 30,000. we're like now less than 400 subscribers away so almost there you're going to get a shot at winning one of these beautiful rods seven foot light action with fuji titanium that's fuji titanium up there those guides are spectacular and the rod itself is just gorgeous. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. 30,000 milestone and uh, looking forward to getting to 100,000 as well. Bro, I got a stick. Fold me. Uh-oh. Got you. <laughs> nice. 
Mr. Flounder, I got you, I got you. You got caught red-handed. How do you feel, little turd? Bet you don't feel so cool. Open up. Come on, open up. I just, I want my lure, that's all. I'm gonna put you back inside the water. Open up, there you go. Come on, you can open. Say ah. Time to do a little bit of dental work, people. There we go. Nice and easy. What'd I tell y'all about that super fluke? Catch beautiful. Hey, dude, seriously. Come on. All right, so nice little flounder. That's a good way to start the day. In less than an hour, I will take those results. Let's get back out there and work in this lure nice and slow off the bottom. That is it. Yeah. All right, everyone. Seeing as how we have a lot of downtime, and that's been happening to me a lot lately, I may as well do some tech tips with y'all. So the number one question that I have been asked a lot lately is how long do your batteries last, Mark? What kind of battery are you using? Uh, so let's try to answer that as best as I possibly can and within less than five minutes. The batteries are FPV power. Uh, you can find them at Mariner Sales. They are 50 amp hours and uh, 12 volts DC. I'm using two of them and they're wired in parallel to give me a grand total of 100 amp hours. So Old Town, I haven't tested this yet, but Old Town says that if you run, it doesn't matter what battery you're using, they're all created, the, they're all created equal in the eyes of power consumption from the motor. Um, so what that means is if you run this motor at full speed, which full speed for me is gonna be a speed setting of 10 because that's, what, that's how high the motor goes, you're only gonna have enough juice to power it for two hours and that is it. You will run both of the batteries dry. So that's how far you can go on a full speed setting. Now, there's so many other variables as far as weight is concerned on how long the batteries will last. I've done a trip out to the Galveston Causeway where we did some miles. I launched early in the morning at around 10 o'clock a.m. and I fished until 11 p.m. at night and I didn't even use half of the battery. So there's so many things so like the weight and everything you have to take that into consideration but uh, why did i purchase the batteries that i did well lithium are way lighter than the lead acid batteries the ones that you put on regular boats those things are god awful heavy and yes the lithium batteries are way way more expensive check this out right behind me there's a about a three foot gator on top of a log I wish I had the big lens. So the, the the other big question is, how much do the batteries cost? They're a little over $500 each, so a grand total of about $1,100, $1,200. And yeah, so that's the batteries that I'm using. That's how long they've lasted so far since I've been fishing. And if you're interested in getting them, you can purchase them at Mariner's Sales. And uh, yeah. That is it. Oh. He picked it up off the bottom. Didn't even feel the bite. Oh, we got us a croaker. <laughs> this is a big one. Bro, this guy's taking some roids. <laughs> He's like, you're darn right I am. Listen to him, people. <laughs> That's some good eating right there, but then if I hang that fella overboard, that's some good gator bait. Got one. Like right in front of this gator too. Oh, we got a black drum. A little puppy drum. Hold on, hold on, playa. You gotta stop bouncing around so I can grab you. Multi-species day is what we're going for. So flounder, croaker, 
puppy drum or black drum. All right, buddy. Hey, hey, come on now. Gosh darn, buddy. Just stop acting up. There we go. Pretty little guy, huh? Small little baby. Stay away from the gators. Gotcha. Another croaker, bro. It's good to know these guys kind of help you out to just let you feel the tug. It's like swelling up on me. <laughs> Gotta love the croaker. There we are. That's right, swim to daddy. Come on. Oh my goodness, the elusive redfish. Get inside here, you stupid unicorn. Oh my gosh, that is in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the flats bug brings our first redfish in. Look at that beautiful blue tail. Holy moly, that one is just a vivid baby powder blue. Either way, our unicorn has come home. Get big, my friend, get big. Uh oh, gotcha. Oh, you freaking jerk. It was a flounder, bro. I saw him. <laughs> I seriously, I told you I was going to make it happen before we got back. Gosh, what a jerk. He just come up to show me his face and then he let go. He just opened his mouth and let it go. What a day. Fishing sure has a way of humbling a person. Oh my gosh. And I was humbled today. <laughs> I'm gonna come inside, spend the uh, rest of my evening licking my wounds, and uh, gonna have to regroup and go back out there at a later date. Um, because man, the weather that we've been having, I'm not gonna blame it on the weather. I know it sounds like I'm a complainer. Trust me, I am not. Uh, I have been humbled and I, I've just got to take a little bit of time off, reflect on my decisions as far as where I've been going fishing, and uh, we'll come back out there strong as ever. Uh, I do thank you all for joining me today. Thank you so much for that support. Don't forget, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you would like a shot at winning one of those fishing rods, then click that subscribe button uh, also tell your uh, friends and family that love fishing about the channel and then hopefully they'll subscribe as well. That way we'll get to 30,000 a lot faster and uh, we'll do the giveaway for those bad boys. That's going to do it. Until next time, tight lines y'all.